Hi, I'm Andrew Gillis from Sepro Mineral Systems. This video is a short excerpt from a longer video series about gold recovery for milling circuits. I hope you enjoy it. But we're going to start here and just talk about first, identi first identify the different parts of a uh, milling circuit when it includes gravity circuit. So you've got your ball mill that's doing the milling. You've got a pump that's pumping to the cyclone. And I mean, feed may enter, feed may enter here. Often it does. Feed may also just enter here into the start of the ball mill, but that's not really important to the, to the model here. We've got our cyclone for size separation, and then we've got our gravity circuit. The placement of the gravity circuit can either be on cyclone feed or here on cyclone underflow. I'd say this has been the uh, traditional location in the underflow. And I'd say this is more of the modern location for the gravity circuit. And we'll get into that in the subsequent video on the considerations, the practical considerations for gravity circuit installation. But right now we're just identifying that these are the things that work together in the circuit and they all have an impact on gravity recovery. If you found this video interesting, uh, please visit minerals.seprosystems.com to find the extended video series as well as additional shorter clips addressing specific points around gold recovery from milling circuits. Thanks very much for watching.